Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're excited for today's general energy reading. As always, I've already cleansed my Kamaya Healing Spray and I've already pre-shuffled my cards to save time. So let's go ahead and tap in. Let's see what is going on with the collective today. So it is August 1st um, that I am filming this video. I took the last week of July off, even though I had already taken so many breaks in July um, for making videos. My filming schedule and like my daily uploads that I was doing on Instagram, everything just started to become really overwhelming for me. And I was just getting so exhausted from like juggling my, you know, my normal nine to five, my work life balance, as well as this. So I really needed to take a step back to figure out what it is that I wanted to do. Also, before doing this video, I have been in a mood, you guys. I don't know what it is or whoever I'm channeling today like is in a really dark negative energy, but I absolutely hate the way I'm feeling today. Um, I'm getting annoyed by the littlest things. The littlest things are upsetting me. So I don't know what that's all about, but I knew that I had to get in front of, sit down, get my cards out and finally do some readings. It's been crazy y'all. All right, so the first card out, is the four of coins. So there's a confirmation that whoever I'm channeling right now, they are not feeling good enough. Um, it's bringing a really dark cloud around them. Next we out, we have the king of cups. I think it's because this person has been holding back um, how they feel about a certain situation for way too long. Um, and with the five of coins as the next card out, um, you know, it's because they're afraid of being shunned, of being, you know, rejected for how they feel or whoever this person that they love or what they want to do with their life. With the death card here, death is being called to finally end this toxic cycle of where, you know, they're putting themselves down. So they're not being honest with themselves about who they are. Um, you know, this chapter needs to close out because with the world card here, there's a much bigger, brighter world out there besides this little trap that they've kept themselves in for so long with the knight of swords it's time for them to finally break free and move forward and finally live along their soul's true path at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups i think this person has made some mistakes in the past and they want to come towards someone and apologize and you know give them a new offer of love with the two of wands here, this person has been planning this out for a long time. With the two of coins, this is someone from their past that they juggled. With the tower moment, you know, when they dropped the ball on this person, when they made a choice and left this person behind, it caused a tower moment in their life and they've just been suffering without this person in their life. With the ten of coins here, they now see that they can't have their happy, abundant family life without this person there. With the Hermit card here, since walking away, they've done a lot of self-reflection and they've just been alone for way too long. And with the Six of Cups, even further confirmation that they want to go back to someone from their past, apologize to them and have some reconciliation. With the Hierophant here, I think this person got into a contract or a marriage or a new relationship that they thought was going to be more stable um but there was no love there um it was just you know following the rules and desires of someone else but with the magician under that this person wants to create their own reality now they want to with the ace of swords live in their truth and with the Nine of Cups, they want to make all of their own wishes come true. And they want to go after their Queen of Wands. Their Queen of Wands is someone that, that they love so much who has glown up since they um, left you in the past. And you've really taken your life into your own hands and really blossomed and made a beautiful um, new beginning for yourself without them. With the Four of Swords here, I think they've been really trying to figure out how to approach you and they've been resting on their laurels for too long. With the temperance card here, they've done what they could to heal their own heart and figure out how to approach you in a more balanced way. With the seven of wands, they've been learning how to set healthier boundaries when it comes to other people. And they know that they'll be able to set better boundaries with other people when it comes to re-entering a relationship with you. 
because you are their 10 of cups. You are the person that they want to be with and they want to have their beautiful, happy ending with you. So with the chariot card here, they are coming towards you. With the two of swords, they have been sitting on this decision for way too long, but you are their empress. They want you to be the parent to their children and they are going to blindside you with the ace of wands with some unexpected communication and with the four of wands this communication this renewal of love is going to blossom and become a more commitment um stable commitment whether it's an actual relationship or eventually leading to an engagement and then a marriage with the eight of cups here this person wants to come in leave the past behind them and not make the same mistakes that they've done. With the Page of Wands, they've recognized now that they were really immature and impulsive in their bad decisions. And with the Ace of Wands, they want a happy new beginning with you. And with the lovers here, this person is your true love. They see you as their true love now. With the Five of Swords, they really regret betraying you in the past. and. With the Four of Cups here, like I said, again with that tower, they have been bored in their life without you and they regret not choosing you when you were still in their life. With the Three of Coins, they've been working with other people, trying to figure out a plan of action on how to approach you. And with the King of Swords, they want to come back, be honest with you, and finally be standing in their power and be the true king and provider that you deserve. With the High Priestess, I think you know exactly who this is with the five of cups here. This is someone who definitely slept on you and this is someone that you cried over so many times and you've had so many sad nostalgic memories about when they left you. They left you hanging with the hanged man here. Um, with the moon card here, I think a lot of secrets were revealed about this person and with the nine of wands you knew that you know you couldn't stay and watch them go down in flames it was time for you to move on but like i said with the ace of coins we've had three aces here this is time for you guys this is time for you guys to come back together and finally get your reconciliation so i absolutely love that um with all the loving vibes here i'm going to use my love oracle so that's my i'll never leave you deck Again, all of my Oracle card purchase, um, <laughs> Oracle cards are available for purchase, and that info is in the down box below for you. But let's get some love messages um, from this person that I'm channeling, um, and just you know see what they're feeling. All right, so we got three. First off, we have, I love your laugh. I think this person is definitely a jokester, someone who has a really good sense of humor and they love making you laugh as well as they love your particular laugh. Next, we have, would you take me back? So like I said, this person is from your past. They wanna come back in and they're really hoping that you will take them back. And next we have, I love taking pictures of you. You know, maybe you've been posting a lot on Instagram lately. Maybe you've been going on some vacations. Maybe you've been posting some really good selfies, things like that. Um, if you guys ever went on trips together, you know, they miss the times where they would be the one to be your photographer and be the one to, you know, the one that you would be tagging in all their, your pictures of, you know, giving them photo credit on your Instagram. They really miss that. So if this is your story, definitely thumbs up the video to claim it. Um, that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching. If you are brand new, I do hope you decide to subscribe today. And if anything resonated, again, always you always want to thumbs up the video to claim it. Um, and yeah, if you are brand new, don't forget to also hit the bell button so that you get notified of when I upload a new video. So that is it. Thank you guys as always so, so much for watching and I'll see you in a later one. Bye guys.